Good morning and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. We're glad that you've joined us today and I hope that you'll share this out, especially the advertisement for the upcoming Prophecy Files Briefing that will happen September the 14th and the 15th. There is no uh, cost that's involved. There will be an offering received and you'll find more information at the conclusion of today's briefing. I just want to draw attention to, of course, the most recent uh, tragic events that have taken place in the tunnels of Gaza as the IDF, Israeli Defense Forces, were getting close to the location where there were hostages held by this terrorist group Hamas, and then they were assassinated before the IDF could get to them. We're living in very uh, perilous times, and the pressure is being applied to the Israeli government to somehow give in and try to be able to bring some ceasefire along with the United States, offering almost uh, no ultimatum uh, in the close offering that is going to be made according to what we understand. The point is this, those that bless the nation of Israel will be blessed. Those that curse the nation of Israel will be cursed. And I'm telling you the United States is certainly sitting in a place right now where the actions that we have taken even recently uh, and de depending on what this negotiation uh, alternative could be, negotiations that is happening with the United States and others, uh, my friends, it could be a very dangerous place the United States is in. We need to pray, pray for our leaders, certainly pray for the leaders of Israel and those that are there continually. And I want to encourage you in, the, in this short briefing to uh, remember the word of the Lord that concerns the nation of Israel and the fact that uh, all of our Christian heritage really comes from Jewish roots. That's the reason why it is so important that we understand all that is taking place and keep our hearts and minds towards prayer for the peace of Jerusalem, for the leadership of, uh, the, of Israel, and of course for the Jewish people. I want to encourage you to continue to do that today and for the leadership of the United States of America that we will make the right decisions and not be forced into some uh, play that puts us into a place where we are against Israel and therefore being against God. It's very important that we have that understanding today. Now, I want you to pay close attention to the upcoming uh, promotion that you'll hear in just a moment concerning the Prophecy Files Conference coming up September the 14th and the 15th. You'll see our speakers that will be here on that Saturday morning and Sunday morning. You will not want to miss this upcoming Prophecy Files Conference that's taking place in just a few days from now. Register online, the information will be there. Watch closely, get the information, and we look forward to seeing you again. God bless you and remember, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Hello everyone, this is Pastor Joey Rogers and I wanna give you a special invitation to join me for the upcoming Prophecy Files Conference, September the 14th and the 15th. My special guest, Pastor Shane Warren and Dr. Jim Garlow. I can assure you that you will not wanna miss this insightful Prophecy Files Conference on those dates. I encourage you to make plans to join us. It is free, just register online and we want you to be able to be a part of it. You will find out information that you'll not hear in the mainstream media right from the Word of God as it's being played out in today's society. Join us for the upcoming Prophecy Files Conference at Pace Assembly, September the 14th and the 15th. We'll see you there. America is on the verge of a national upheaval. The problem is this civil war will not be fought over the color of your skin. It'll be fought over ideologies. And there's so many ideologies, nobody's going to know who's fighting who. You will not know who your enemy is, and it'll be extremely dangerous. And the progressive liberals have done a very good job at sowing the seed of division amongst every single ideology and trying to control the narrative on media outlets so that people cannot come together. They are trying to divide us. And I'm telling you right now, God has sent a sign to the nation like he did to Nineveh. We have a short window to repent. Some pastors will say, oh, I'm not political. I just preach Jesus. Well, so do I. I preach Jesus. But I know not only preach Jesus, I preach what Jesus preached. What did he preach? The kingdom. What does a king have? Kingdom have? A king. 
What is the king over? Everything. Everything, including the governmental political arena. But there's an attempt to silence us right now. They accuse us of Christian nationalism. Or they accuse us of dominionism. dominionism. Or they find some term to try to intimidate and bully us to not bring our biblical principles into the voting booth when they feel that they can. But there's another problem, not just silent pews, uh, pastors, but silent pews along with it. In the same survey done by Barna, it was revealed that lay people in the pew overwhelmingly said, we do not speak out on the issues. Now, I thought the survey would show we don't speak out on the issues because we're afraid. We're afraid of being labeled homophobe, transphobe, exonophobe, uh, Islamophobe, some phobe. That's what I thought they would say. Survey didn't bear that out. They said, we do not speak out on the issues because we do not know what to say. What does America have to repent of? Joel chapter 3 prophesies to us that when and how the tribulation period will begin and it deals with God's covenant that he made with his people. Listen carefully. The children of Israel, the God of Israel tells us clearly and directly why he judges the nation. Listen carefully to the scripture from Joel 3, 1 and 2. For behold, in those days and at that time when I bring back the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. I'm preaching to you, I'm, I'm quoting here of what's going to happen at the battle of Armageddon. And I will enter into judgment with them, watch this, on the account of my people Israel, my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. Listen to this, they have also divided up my land. When the President of the United States and others declare we need a two-state solution, you're dividing up. God didn't say it was Israel's land. God said it's my land. Now, what is it that the devil only recognizes? What is it that we're watching right now in the United States of America? The greatest struggle we have is over property rights.